I'm Miss Carol and I am a master gardener in Madera County and I sure miss Wasuma School and I hope someday soon we will be able to meet in your beautiful garden. But today we're going to talk about oak trees and I'm going to introduce the, live, the interior live oak. And the acorns are very thin and about an inch long and sometimes their cap can almost be to half the size of an acorn. The acorns will take two years to mature and they ripen in late August and then drop in the fall. They provide food for squirrels, lots of ground mammals, squirrels, rabbits, and deer and even bears. Now we're going to talk about the interior live oak bark. It's very thin. It's a very thin and it's serrated the lines that go across. What you're seeing that is bumpy is really lichen and it's growing on the tree and it's part of the bark but not not what the bark would look like if the light lichen had not grown on it. So this is interior live oak bark. The height of an interior live oak can be from 30 to 75 feet tall as a tree. But it also will grow in a shrub form and that will grow 8 to 10 feet tall. When the tree grows, there is a round crown of branch leaves at the top. And then when the, the bush, it's more the bushy and leaves all around. They grow from 150 to 200 years. And a tree diameter can be from 1 to 3 feet. They are vigorous sprouters. In fact, they are very fire tolerant, but stumps, sprouts will grow well after a fire. If the top of the tree burns, it will grow vigorously also from the base. The foliage is variable green, smooth with spiky tooths, and flat and dark green above and lighter below. They are waxy and shiny, surface with a one to four inches in length. They are somewhat shade tolerant. In pure stands they are associated with others but also will mix with the blue and valley oak. Now I'm going to talk about the black oak. The leaves are quite long and they have five to seven lobes. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lobes. See how they're shaped? And they're a little bristle tipped. There's a little tipping of them. It's not real sharp like some of the other oaks. And Miss Belinda was wonderful to be able to find this. So here are our leaves, our oak leaves, with our acorns on it. When the acorns mature in the second year, they're about a half inch long by about three quarters round three quarters of an inch round. And you can see the cap is almost to half the, the size of your acorn. Almost covers it halfway. And it has ridges. And the ridges, if you were to see them very close up, they sort of look like shingles on a roof that they overlap one another. Your cap is deeply set into the acorn. This is the black oak bark. 
see it's very thick in comparison to the live oak. And it is black in color. Serrated, it's very bumpy and rough. This is the black oak bark. The California black oak is found in rangeland, well-drained soil, forest sites, mountainous areas, and in the Sierra Nevada. The characteristics of the black oak are that they will grow 60 to 90 feet and are slow growing. At maturity, they can be a foot to four feet in diameter. It is an important component of mixed conifers or pine forests. It is the largest of the mountain oak in the West. Once established, it is fire tolerant and shade tolerant as a mature tree. This tree will live for 100 to 200 years and occasionally to 500 years. It is an excellent sprouter and rises 10 to, 50, 10 to 20 feet before it starts branching. The tree is deciduous, which means it sheds its leaves. The black oak is a heavy wildlife feeder, squirrels and for the acorns. Woodpeckers, gophers, deers, and bears find the acorns as a favorite food source. Birds will harvest from the canopies and bears would even climb up. It's an excellent sprouter. It lives in elevations from 200 feet to 6,000 feet. The black oak will hibernize with the live oak, which I've just showed you. That will then become a oracle oak.